Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. So, in the last episode, we did the big cook-off and we couldn't participate. But besides that, I had a month delay between the first 10 minutes and the last 15 minutes of that episode, or 20 minutes, or I think it was 15 minutes. So, in today's episode, I didn't mean to do that, um, I've been playing another game that uses B and Y for run and... I don't know why, I just kind of defaulted to that. I'm, I'm playing farm together, that's what I'm doing. I'm playing with Emily, so... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I guess for now, while it's still morning, we can just start on our chores. So, as per usual, we have to come up here and water our crops. But that's not the only thing we're doing on Mount Gigant today. We're actually going to be going after the reclusive and... Albeit... Not actually that bad. Enemy, the Buffamoo. <laughs> so, the big thing that we're going after the Buffamoo today is that it's actually Jasper's birthday in a few days. I know it's Emmett's birthday first. Okay, I didn't fill my water, apparently. I really need to start doing that as I'm just passing water sources. Whatever. Uh, I know it's Emmett's birthday in two days, but we'll be getting him a gift today as well, so that we'll be able to get both Jasper and Emmett their favorite gifts. You know, trying to be a good friend and all that. So, if I'm correct, the Buffamo is just right over this way, and I just need to kill the enemies in the way and then start just farming it. Oh. I actually got strong string, that's very nice. Alright. If I'm correct, the buffer move spawns here. Yes, I am correct. So we actually need the milk from this. And if we had a monster barn, then I could, you know, just get it. But we won't have that until... At least, I think, the 7th of next month? Yeah. And I got it already. Small milk. So, I guess I kill you. While we're here, we might as well make a little bit of money, because we're going to be spending money today. A ruby, which is a crafting material that I need. Gold, which is the money source. Okay, we're going to start. Oh, you've come to buy some. Show me what Thanks you have. We're going to buy an egg. Uh, we don't need anything else here, just the one egg will do. Thank you! Wow, I love the strawberry! Yippee! Come in. Your regular bookworm here, Raguna. You're welcome to drop in any time. That's really convenient, actually. Thank you very much. Thanks. 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 Come here whenever you need anything. I love to key off my eye. You want me to forge a cheap rod? It'll take two pieces of bronze, 550G in two days. Just is that okay? Morning. You really plowed Mount Gigant too. Let me issue the pass for the next cave. I'm gonna issue the pass for Misty Boom Cave. Good luck. I forgot to tell you, Misty Boom Cave is surrounded by a lake and you can only enter in winter. You've you have a Misty Boom Cave pass. Yeah, you remember when I said there was a delay a few episodes ago? That is the delay. We cannot go into Misty Bloom Cave until this winter, hence why I'm not just pushing forward and just trying to get into the cave as soon as possible. You can only enter Misty Bloom Cave during winter, so it's a sp as it's spring now, you'll need to wait. Yeah, we're gonna be here for two full seasons at least. So, and, you know, buckle up, I'm gonna start working on everything I can. Raguna, you're coming around here often, eh? Bianca also likes it when you visit, so come over anytime you like. Good morning. Misty Boom- oh, that was new. So, Raguna, you didn't bring anything tasty to eat, did you? Tasty. I meant to say tasty. Uh, actually, surprisingly, I did. Pickles, wow. Mr. Guna, we really talked about a lot, a lot of things. Yeah, we did. 
Mr. Guna, talking to you, I firmly feel my belief that of dwarves can be friends with humans can be realized. That dwarf. Okay. Tabitha, even though you are human, you always refer to people as humans. Isn't that a little strange? Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm an elf. What? It's not the norm, but I'm working in the human world. I never would have guessed. And that's because I usually keep my ears covered. I'm surprised. I'm sorry I surprised you. Even now you know I'm an elf, I hope we can still get along. Yes, of course we can. Misty Bloom Caves? You're going to another dangerous place. Oh, you're off to Misty Bloom Caves this time. Don't get yourself killed. We certainly have talked a lot. From now on, you can come here at night if you like. Please, come in. That sounds like a weird way to put it. Hmm, you're going to Misty Bloom Cave this time. You're a real explorer. You scored a pass to Misty Bloom Cave too? Wow, you're way ahead of me. Nice. I guess, actually, a few things. One, I'm not sure I actually did talk about the flamesaver besides saying it's a fire sword. So, it's enchanted with fire magic, effective against enemies, vulnerable to fire attacks. It has 25 attack, I believe it is a... Is it a two-hand or a one-hand? I need to check that, actually. I believe it's a two-hand sword, but I'll check that. Yeah, it's a two-hand. Right, it says sword, two. Right, yeah. Forgot how that's how that worked. Uh, besides that, we got a level two one, so it'll actually be worth twice as much money. I'm not sure how much money that is, but you know, I plan on selling it, so you know, we can do it that way. Haha, oh. <laughs> skill up, perfect timing. And because it's afternoon now, well, I can talk to her. So you're heading out to Misty Bloom Cave, eh? I'm gonna go there later. Yeah, quite a bit later, actually. Also, don't do that. That's not good. Thank you very much. Okay, now from Emmett right up here. Welcome! Welcome! So, what's it gonna be? Okay, so we are going to buy... Wine and oil. So now if we come in here, and I believe it's the frying pan, we drop the milk, the egg, and the oil. We weren't high enough level. Oof. Okay, um, I thought it was marked down as a 20, it must not have been. Why an omelet, of all things, would be a high-level item, I don't know. Okay, just marked down a bunch more things on my shipping list. But that seriously hurts. Alright. Welcome! Welcome! I just want to chat. So you have to Misty Bloom Cave this time, eh? You're braver than me. Welcome. Okay, so like I said before, we need some oil. And we also need another egg and more milk. Ouch. Wait, I just realized something. He's the one that builds the hut. I can totally build a hut right now. Your farm can hold up to seven monster huts, Raguna, and each hut can house up to four monsters. If that's still not enough, you can build rooms underneath the huts. You can build up to two underground floors per hut. You'll probably have a hard time getting that many monsters, though. The monsters that you domesticate can accompany you into caves and help out with work in your field. As for the price, you'll need 100 pieces of wood and 1,000 G. So what'll be? Do you want to build a hut? Alright, I'll get started right away. I'll have it up for you in no time. Yeah, uh, that's just the thing that we can do. I completely forgot that it was him. 
This is a monster hut, pretty well built, don't you think? You can hold up to four monsters per room. If that's not enough space, let me know. And remember, your monster's friendship levels will drop if you don't give them feed. Feed is automatically stored in the hut when you grow and harvest grazing grass. If you're out of grass, you can buy some at my shop and place it in the window in the left of the hut entrance. Pick up feed with the L and A buttons. Press the A button to toss it in. Well, think about that. Well, I think that about covers it. Good luck. So, we can start raising monsters. I actually need to check something. We can actually build two more monster huts, so I think I'll do that right now. Okay, we're out of wood once again. You want me to flood to cheap rod? Take two pieces of bronze, 550G in two days, Tis okay? Got it, I'll do that. Come and get it in two days. So, while yes, on the 6th of next month, we can actually go in and uh, work on our tools, I will not be doing that with a fishing rod immediately. I'd rather do it just for bronze, rather than having to use string. Oh, pretty string, nice. There we go. I want you, cow. Or buffamoo, I guess. There we go. I will not name it Ushi. Um, I will name this after our first cow on our farm back when I used to live on one. Bessie. <laughs> yeah, that thing tried to kill me. <laughs> Good boy. So, while I still have the time today... I'm actually gonna drop in here. Hey, seem like you finally caught a monster! If so, let's get it working. It's a basket, you can use it with monsters that lay eggs or make honey. Thank you very much. Got a basket. Not only that, though, I figured that it would, you know, be prudent to make both these trips at once. I'm actually gonna buy a bunch of oranges. There's a simple way to get the level up, and it is a little bit of expensive, but I can find a use for them. I just need the levels right now. Hello. My daddy likes to go to the men's bath. Hello. Hello, Ragoon. I didn't expect to see you here. I've come with my daughter today. Hello. Misty Boom Cave, eh? There's said to be a lot of fierce monsters there. Don't get yourself killed. Don't worry, I'm fairly high level, and I'll be even higher level by the time I actually can go in there. I'm so happy. Okay, if we come in here, what should I have it do? Um, nothing. So, we could return it to the first forest, which sends it back to its own world, we'll lose it forever. This is if you want to get rid of your monster pets. Join me, what's actually follow us around and fight with us in combat. I don't use this too often with a lot of the enemies, or a lot of the monsters, they're not your enemies, but there are some that can be useful. For instance, if you get a wolf, you can actually mount it and you can ride it around. It's pretty awesome, actually. It's way faster. It's kind of like getting a horse in other, you know, Harvest Moon games. So we're actually going to spend more money because I've actually had to use more than I thought I would. And also, I didn't really consider this part of it. So I'm honestly not quite sure I remember how it works in this one. Do they automatically get fed in the morning, or do I have to manually give it? No, uh, they must auto be fed. Perfect. So that puts us at 28. 
which is high enough, it's like an 80% chance to make rocks tea leaves, which will be a good way to level up, but I'm not going to quite do it yet. I'm instead going to use up another stack of these, because I am willing to give up money in place of this to actually get more relaxed tea leaves more often. I still had a stack of... Okay, I didn't realize I had that. I thought I took that out and was using that already. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, I think? I don't think it's indigo, I think it's purple. Yep. And cooking level up. So, that is currently putting us at... Cooking level 31. We need to be cooking level 35 to make the omelette. Assuming I don't have any more purple in here. I do have one purple. <laughs> We're getting Chef Boyardee up in here. Let's make an omelet. Alright, now we have two birthday gifts. We have the wine for Emmett and the omelet for Jasper. In the future, we can keep giving omelets to Jasper if we want to, but I honestly think pickles is enough. We're almost level 36 cooking. This is actually pretty awesome. We're gonna head in the cave, grab a bunch of energy, and get to work. Okay, now let's get ourselves a wooly. not fight for attention. Um, in honor of the upcoming game. Oh. We're, gonna, we're just gonna call it Wall Wall. I was gonna call it Wooloo, but apparently there's not enough spaces. Oh! I actually got exactly what I was hoping for. The Wooly Furball. Don't know how many of those I need, actually. So I have it marked down that we just need the one Furball. And as such, we're good here. Let's get some more monsters to be friends with. This could potentially be disastrous, so let's do it. Oh, that's not what I was talking about. I just think of the one in the next room. Uh, this is gonna get really annoying really quickly. Um... This is the one I'm talking about. <laughs> Ick. Um... I kind of like that name, but no. We're gonna call it Gooby Gooby Goo. <laughs> Alright, collecting as many monsters as we can to get all the items we need. I'm not sure... Um, <laughs> sure, we're gonna name this one Mama. I'm, I'm fine with that name. I'm not sure about what these guys all possess. I don't remember as it has been a couple months since I did the videos on them. We're not going to name this Tunder, though. Um, 
Frozo. There, there. So, during the next one, we're actually going to check out, like, I'm going to go over the lists and everything to see which monsters I actually need to get. But in the meantime, I figure I would just grab a bunch and call it good. Alright. Today's been good progress. And has lasted me nearly an hour. I'm sure it's fine. <sighs> So, I looked it up because I was curious, because I knew I was confusing something with Rune Factory, like, two or three onwards. This guy does not produce anything. In future Rune Factory titles, he'll actually, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, drop, uh, well not drop, but give you gifts, like little gems and things, but he won't do that in this game. So he's purely for combatant pur purposes. <clears throat> These two are both waterers, so they'll both water my crops for me. I don't have any crops to water right now, so it's not important. But starting two days from now, that will be important. Be my friend. So who wants to name it Dandy? I disagree. I'm going to name it Cluck. This is a coffee doodle, after all. I think that's all of the animal- well, the monsters that I want to tame for now. So, I only need one more spore from the big mush enemy, so I don't really need to fight them until I need that item. Skill up. I'm not actually sure if I need- yeah, I'm actually, the root, right. I absolutely need things from these guys. A red cry seed. Once again. The rare drop. Okay. And the common drop of a root. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Fight this guy for a little bit, see if we can't get a good drop. Oh, a heart drink. Not what I was looking for, but appreciated nonetheless. Oh, level up. Yeah, these guys are really easy to grind on. A bullhorn. Oh. I thought I put that away. So, as it turns out, I need a total of nine bullhorns for everything I need to do. So I'm going to be here for a while. <laughs> well, while I'm thinking about it, the heart drink, level 2. Specially mixed concoction increases HP by 3, like max HP by 3. Um, it's, you know, worth a good amount of money, it's, it's something you can make with a pharmacy. But I'm going to drink this one. So, our max HP is even higher now. It won't actually show that right now because, you know, I should have done it when I was at full HP, but, eh, whatever. Just know that our HP is 3 higher, and that's the important thing. Thank you very much! You're going to Misty Bloom Cave? Isn't that a little too dangerous? Thanks. Thank you. That's some collection of passes you have there. Hello. You're going to another dangerous place, aren't you? Please, be careful. Thanks. Oh, now you're off to Misty Bloom Cave. Well, just be careful. I don't know if he likes sardine sashimi or not, so let's try it. No, he doesn't. Alright. Misty Bloom Cave, eh? The desire to investigate the unknown is what drives advancement of humankind. Please be careful. Misty Bloom Cave is dangerous. Thank you very much. Okay. And while I'm here, I might as well. Thanks for the yellow grass, I'm happy to get this, but I'll say now, you'll never capture my heart with materialistic stuff. What I really love are people who come and take lots of baths, and of course I hate peeping toms who look into the women's bath. Yeah, uh, you'll lose affection if you try to go in there. 
Hey, if it looks like you made friends with the monster, you have to do you have to do this. This is a brush. Press the B button to prepare and use it the brush to From now on, you should be able to get along with monsters better. Thank you very much. You got a brush. You're going to go to Misty Boob Cave this time, eh? Raguna, you're so brave. Looks like you've taken in a monster. In that case, I'll give this you this as a gift. It's a pair of shears. You can trim the fur off a woolly with these. Thank you. They won't do you much good, though, if you don't have a woolly. <laughs> I actually already do. Hello. Prayer is all I have to offer, so I'll pray for your safety, Mr. Raguna. Oh, looks like you've got a monster. Well, you should have this. What? Your backpack's full? Come again later after you... Oh. Sure, let's hurt ourselves a little bit. Oh, looks like you caught a monster. Well, you should have this. It's a milking pump. You'll need this to get milk from a Buffamu. Thank you very much. Got a milking pump. Buffamu's milk is so fresh and tasty. Yeah, I'm overloaded with stuff, actually. Welcome! Welcome. So, what's it, what's it gonna be? So you're off to Misty Boom Cave this time, eh? You're braver than me. Please. It's Misty Boo Cave now, is it? Your curiosity knows no limit. Come and get a sword forged sometime. There may be many strong monsters in Misty Boom Cave. If it was summer, we could swim. Too bad. I'm so happy. I like being alone. Thank you. Thank you. An orange juice, huh? This is quite a gift. I'm truly grateful. Orange juice are actually his favorite gift. So, yeah. Pickles, wow. Misty Boom Caves? You're going to another dangerous place? Why don't you try to come over to my house to play some time, Raguna? Good evening. Thanks for the relaxed tea leaves. I'm so happy. Sharon is now up to 10 friendship with us. So Sharon and Emmett are both at max friendship already. Before the end of the spring. Emmett because, you know, roll a booty. But Sharon just because... I guess if you give her a gift every day she really is just that easy to make friends with you Let's see if we can't get the drop from this thing aha cheap cloth Level up. Ah, womp. Here we go again. Oh. Bullhorn. Nice. And a level up. Another heart drink. Skill up and level up and an item drop all at once. Another bullhorn. And another heart drink. And another bullhorn. Skill up. And I'm going to use the potion for this. Level up and another item drop. And another heart drink. That is amazing. Not sure. Yes, I can start getting the materials immediately. 
Nice. All right, we're going to call it there. So we've made a huge amount of progress today. I know you guys probably didn't get a lot of the content. You guys just got the highlight reel for a lot of it. But I got a total of six bullhorns and like four different heart drinks. That is amazing. That raises my max HP by 12 and more importantly, it gives me six out of the nine bullhorns that I need to actually craft everything in a few days. Just one more week and we can start crafting. So guys, next time, let's be Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. Um, I do plan on doing quite a bit of grinding. I believe tomorrow we can pick up our new fishing rod. So I'll probably start doing a bit more fishing, leveling up. Or actually, I may just give the fishing rod straight back and just start doing it that way. Just straight, you know, try to get my golden rod. I think golden is the max you can get with uh, him. So yeah, a golden rod, which is actually a flower. Hmm, now that I think about that, doesn't exactly make sense. Oh well, one way or another. Guys, thanks for coming out and watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye.